Hey, what's up everyone? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Star Wars Black 6-inch series, or 1 12th scale series, we should say, especially for this guy, Yoda figure. He stands only 3.5 inches tall, but you had to pay full $20 price tag on this figure, so that's a little irksome, but what are you going to do? Plus, it's Yoda, so everybody's going to buy it anyway. Uh, he does come with his magic wand which is in a nice green. It probably doesn't show up as nice on camera as it does in real life, but I'm pretty pleased with the color and the translucentness. It does come out, though he has no place to peg this on his belt. I think he just tucked it into his belt in the movie. You guys know I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan, so maybe you can just slide that in there and that'll be... I think that's what happened in the movie. I think it was like that. So you can do that if you want to. Although now I'm remembering it was underneath his cloak. Yeah, I don't remember. You guys know better than I do, so go ahead and post in the comments how it should be, and if this is accurate or not, I don't know. It also comes with a snake, which I think is just a nod to the old school figure. And the snake is actually pretty well done. They didn't paint the eyes on the snake, but the sculpt is good, believe it or not. And the paint is good otherwise, so that's cool. He came with some kind of Tootsie Roll. No, I'm kidding. It's a cane. It's supposed to look like a piece of tree, I guess. Uh, there's no painting on it, but it looks good enough. It would have been nice to have a little shading, but no big deal. That's it for accessories, although he has this tiny sack of dynamite he has hanging around his neck, or maybe it's a whiskey flask, I'm not sure. Uh, again, you guys can clear that up. I'm sure it's neither of those things. That was just a joke. But I don't know what it is. There's no paint on it, though, so it looks a little weird, but it is included. So there's that. And then technically... He's got a belt that can come off. And the belt, they put on a little rope right there, and that's painted to match the shirt, so that's okay. And then you can take his cloak off if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and do that just so I can show you the articulation. And I have to point out something once we get into it. That's a little worrisome. I don't know if you guys are going to have the same issue or not. But my figure, when I took it out of the box, it was like this. His butt was facing forward, his one leg was turned around at the thigh, the other one at the ankle, so I just turned it around like this, and I fixed the thigh by rotating that around, or maybe that wasn't the one, I don't know, it wasn't. That was the foot, this one was the thigh swivel. So I've got the thighs going in the right direction now, but I don't know which way the feet go. I don't know if the big toe is supposed to be on the outside, or I don't know if that's right or not. So that's a little bothersome. If you guys have the same issue, let me know. Or if you don't, let me know. And then the other thing is, I don't know if they did these stamps. I don't know how that works. It looks like they stamped it while it was backwards because now it's on the front rather than on the back. So I don't know if your guys' figures look like that. Let me know. Either way, please and thank you. Okay, so the head, I think, is a pretty good sculpt. It looks a lot like Yoda. Uh, I think the hair could have been done a little bit better, but it does have some shading. Sculpt is a little iffy, though. Looks a little bit like cake frosting, but it's not bad. His head otherwise looks good. Paint application for his eyes looks good, except for that white spot on his left eye right there. Not a big deal. As far as articulation goes, you got nothing. That's it. So really just a swivel. You got, you're going to get a little up and down, but not a whole lot. A little left and right. I guess I'll, that's a fair amount left and right, but mostly just a swivel, which also is pretty much limited by this collar. So it's not great. Shoulder hinge, pretty good range of motion, actually standard hinge at this point, so that's alright by me. No bicep swivel at all though, so that kind of sucks. Double jointed elbow, wasn't expecting that on such a small figure, so that's really good. And then the wrist articulation is a swivel with a hinge going up and down. Same on this side, up and down hinge. So I kind of like that. And you saw we have the diaphragm joint. Not a great range of motion, but it is there. So that's okay. For the hips, they don't go out to the side very far. They go forward all the way. We do have the thigh swivel. And then for the ankles, we just have a standard hinge. I'm thinking my feet are on backwards just because of the way they're angled. So if you guys could let me know for sure which way they're supposed to be, Maybe these two, I'm thinking these two are supposed to be on the inside. So, I don't know. Let me know about that. Uh, I'll go ahead and take some photos and post them at the end of the video so you guys can see 
what he looks like, but he's actually a pretty decent figure for being this small. I just kind of wish the price tag wasn't still so high. Eh, it's okay. You definitely need some paint on here, but once you put this thing on, you can't tell anyway, so it's okay. It's not bad. It's just good enough. Uh, if you're okay with the price tag, then I definitely say you should pick it up since it's Yoda. Uh, if you're not okay with the price tag, then don't pick it up. I think, personally, I'm okay with it for this particular instance. There it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.